Life is neither completely black nor completely white, but rather gray. We're in that life have many blessings, things and situations that make us happy. On the other hand, life tests us to know how strong we are. Fate judges us to face problems and difficult situations that sometimes make us weak people. A person should never, no matter what happens to him, lose hope. Sergei wanted to overcome the harsh conditions of life he lived in his childhood to be a strong and successful man. He had a very difficult childhood, as his father died when he was young. Sergei has neither a brother nor a sister. His mother works as a seamstress, and she works hard in order to gain money and be able to spend money on her son. She worked so hard to raise him well. She spent all her money for his studies and his future. Sergei decided to become a surgeon in order to get a lot of money and to compensate his mother for everything bad she faced. Many years passed, and Sergei was able to achieve his dream, and he became a surgeon. He loves surgery very much. He's obsessed with medicine and surgery and everything related to that. Sergei at that time works in a very luxurious hospital, and he takes a lot of money. He was able to improve his social and financial level thanks to his intelligence and ambition. One day, Sergei was in the hospital, and he saw a very beautiful girl named Marina. She came to work in the hospital as a nurse. He saw her and wanted to talk to her. He told her, you're such a beautiful girl. We're glad that you'll work with us. If you need anything, talk to me at any time. She sweetly replied, thank you very much, Dr. Sergei. Many days passed, and in those days, Sergei felt that he had fallen in love with that beautiful girl, Marina. He wanted to talk to her about it and asked her to hang out. She agreed happily. She was also attracted to him. She sees that he's a successful and handsome man. He revealed his love, saying, frankly, I wanted to tell you that I loved you from the first sight. I want to marry you. I feel that you're the only woman whom I comfort with. She replied, I don't know what to say. I'm so glad that you talked to me in this romantic way. I agree to our marriage. They got married and they lived happily with each other. Love, affection, and understanding surrounded them. Many months passed. Marina gave birth to a very cute girl named Nastya. They do all they can in order to raise Nastya well. The family lives in love and happiness. This happiness was not eternal, but it's only temporary happiness. In this life, everything is temporary. Nothing lasts forever, and neither do people. Life makes us meet many people in many situations, but all of that is temporary. Humans are mortal. The suffering began in the life of the family after ten years. Suffering represents in Marina's disease. She's in so much pain every day, at night, and she never told anyone about it. She went to the doctor without anyone knowing, and the doctor told her that she had cancer. She felt deep sadness. The doctor told her that she was in the late stage of disease and that she should have been examined earlier. She felt that her tragic end was near. She thought that she had to tell her husband about her harsh disease in order to tell him her last will. While the little girl, Nastia, was at school, Marina wanted to talk to her husband about her illness. She said to him, I want to tell you something very sensitive and important. For months I've been feeling very tired and I didn't tell you so that you wouldn't be sad. He replied, I noticed that and I've asked you more than once what's wrong with you and you didn't tell me anything. Why did you change? She said, Unfortunately, I didn't want to tell you, but I have to tell you this. I feel my end is near. I smell death. I feel death all around me. I went to the doctor and he told me I had cancer. He made it clear that we're in the very late stage. The husband replied, I will help you recover from that disease. As a surgeon, I'll do everything in my power to save my beloved wife. But I want you to be optimistic. Everything will be fine as long as we're together. Although Sergei was one of the most skilled surgeons in the city, couldn't save his sick wife. He tried to save her from that malignant disease, but he failed. Here, fate dictated the death of Marina. Marina was in the room taking her last breath. She said her will to her husband, I love you and I will always love you. Take care of our innocent daughter. Then she died. It was a very painful, crying scene. Sergei felt like a fish out of water. He's lonely, sad, and depressed. He pretends he's fine in order to not make his little girl sad. Sergei decided to raise his only daughter well. He devoted his life to her. He didn't marry after his wife died. He made his life entirely to take care of his daughter. He cares about her and goes with her everywhere. Nastya is 20 years old and she goes to college every day. She's studying at medical school. There's a rich young man who admires her very much, Vadim. She also loves him very much and he's never cared about the social difference between them. Vadim is from a very wealthy family and they have numerous possessions and wealth. Vadim and Nastya went to the beach together to spend two days there. Her father worried about her very much, but she reassured him. It was at this time that the romantic relationship between Vadim and Nastya developed. Then he told her that he wanted to marry her. 
she decided to tell her father that. When she came home, she spoke to her father, saying, Dad, I miss you so much. How are you? He replied, I'm fine. How was your vacation? She replied, it was totally amazing. I want to talk to you about a very important topic. There's a young man named Vadim. He loves me very much, and he wants to marry me, so I told you. The father smiled and said, Now I feel that I'm getting old. You became aware of every. I feel that time passed immediately. Days ago, I used to see you as a child, but now you become a mature and conscious young girl. I agree to the concept of marriages, but I must meet that young man who's in love with you. I never imagined that you'll leave me to live alone. You must live by my side when you marry. She replied, Dad, I love you so much. Of course I'll live by your side. I'll talk to Vadim so he can meet you. Two days passed. Vadim and Father Sergei met. They talked to each other, but Sergei did not feel comfortable with Vadim. After that, they came home and the father spoke to his daughter, saying to her, This young man is very handsome, but the outward appearance is clearly deceiving. I never felt comfortable. I feel that this man does not suit you at all, especially since he is rich and we are from the middle class. I also see his mother as a little racist. Anyway, this is your life. Do what you want. I'll always stand up for you. The girl said, Perhaps everything changes after marriage. The thing that I am sure of is that he loves me very much, and that's enough for me. The father replied, Love is very important in a relationship, but we must also look to the future and difficulties we'll face. Vadim and Nasti are getting ready for marriage. She's very happy and expresses her happiness to her lover. I'm over the moon. I love you very much. In fact, Vadim loves Nastya very much, but he's a spoiled, pampered young man. He's raised on that everything comes to him without getting tired. His mother spoiled him a lot. He does not like to take responsibility. As a rich man, everything comes to him without any effort. As for his mother, she is very spiteful and arrogant woman. She never likes Nastya. She sees Nastya as a poor girl compared to her son. She's an evil woman and she decides to take revenge on Nastya, even though Nastya has never done anything to her. That evil woman will ruin Nastya's life. There are many people in our lives who are as evil as that woman. On the wedding day, early, Vadim calls Nastya, telling her, I'm sorry, I can't marry you. My mother is against this marriage. Nastya got angry and hung up the phone. Nastya cries heartily and feels lost and let down. She had anxiety attacks and she always had nightmares. Her father tried to get her out of that depression, but it was too difficult. The father went to Vadim's arrogant mother to talk to her, but she refused and said, You are an unjust woman. You'll reap what you sow. Life will take revenge on you because you're an unjust woman. Several days passed and Nastya felt very tired. She took a pregnancy test and found out that she was pregnant. She never wants the baby. She doesn't want to have any contact with Vadim who ruined her life. She told her father about it, but he had a different opinion. He said, Maybe the next baby will brighten your life. Never have an abortion. We'll raise the baby and live together. Nastya went to her friend's house to have an abortion. She died and then fainted. Her friend worried about her very much, and she called Father Sergei. They took her to the hospital. Sergei took the dead child out of his daughter's womb. It was a very moving and crying scene. Sergei got angry and went to Vadim's house in anger, and he threatened him. Many years passed, and Nastya met a young man named Maxim. He made up for everything bad that happened to her. It's a symbol of consideration and love. They married and lived happily and in love. As for Vadim, he married a woman his mother wanted him to marry. He lives in tragedy and grief because of it. His mother also became seriously ill. He met Nastya by chance and told her that he was living in tragedy, and she said to him, You reap what you sowed. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.